Medicare is the health insurance program for people age 65 and over, and for disabled people. What you may not know is that for about half of the people on Medicare in Minnesota, Medicare will be changing. And it could affect the Medicare coverage you have right now. Due to changes in federal law, Medicare cost plans, a type of Medicare plan that is very popular in Minnesota, will be going away in most of the state. This means that many Minnesotans on Medicare will need to choose a new plan during Medicare open enrollment this fall. But don't worry, there will be lots of plans to choose from for those who need to make a change. So please let me walk you through the steps you'll need to take if you're one of those affected. In September, Medicare plans and the Medicare administration will send letters to those who currently have a cost plan to let them know that their plan is ending. If you receive these letters, you'll want to review all your options to make sure that you enroll in a new plan that meets your needs. Maybe you'll choose to sign up for a new plan with the same insurance company you have now. Or maybe you'll want to return to original Medicare and purchase a Medicare supplement policy and a separate Medicare Part D plan. Or maybe you'll want to enroll in a new plan from a new insurance company. It's all up to you. But you'll want to make sure that your provider participates in the new plan. Your prescription drugs are covered by the new plan. Your pharmacy participates with the new plan. And that you can afford the premium. If you don't know if you currently have a cost plan, please call your health plan to find out. Now let's go over some options you can choose to make sure you have Medicare coverage for 2019. Option one. For some of you on a cost plan, you may not have to do anything to change plans. That's because some of you will automatically be enrolled in a new plan by your current insurance company. This is called deeming. And the letter you receive from your current insurance company will tell you if you have been deemed into a new plan. You can choose to stay in this plan or you can enroll in something else if you choose to. Option two, if you are not deemed, you will need to either enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan or purchase a Medicare supplement policy and a separate Medicare Part D plan. All Medicare Advantage plan options for 2019 can be found on the Medicare Plan Finder tool on Medicare.gov starting on October 1st. Option three, if you instead want to purchase a Medicare supplemental policy, you can compare policies on the Medicare Plan Finder tool, but you have to go through a company, agent, or broker to purchase this type of policy. Option four, if you do nothing and are not deemed, you will return to Original Medicare on January 1st, 2019, and will not have any other coverage. This means you will have to pay all Medicare co-pays and deductibles. While it's great to have all of these options, it can be confusing. Fortunately, free, unbiased help is available by calling the Senior Linkage Line at 1-800-333-2433. The Senior Linkage Line is a service of the Minnesota Board on Aging in partnership with Minnesota's Area Agencies on Aging. They do not sell or market any insurance product they simply provide neutral, objective, and comprehensive information. Give them a call, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, at 1-800-333-2433, and get the answers and the help you need.